broken and so close to the village. Their song makes their allies invulnerable. They will not let you pass unless you destroy them all. I used to play hide-and-seek with Freyr in the crops. We'd spend afternoons stealing honey from the Grand Hall. At harvest time, we'd dance and feast until the sun was It was all so simple. Why did I have to come back here? And be reminded of all this?
grand hall. It's in ruin. May Freya never waver. The other half is missing. May she protect us always. An old adage, if you will. I hear them inside. Get ready to clear them out. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. 
enough what Odin did to me. He's every memory I have a home. Be glad you have a home to remember fondly. In Sparta, we were taken from our homes as children and raised in the Agoji. We marched though we drowned, fought for scraps or starved. Our elders beat us till we could not stand. At night, we made our way home, alone, or were food for wolves. That is how Spartans are made. These plants behave similarly to the scorn holes we found in the foothills of Midgard ages ago. Huh. 
Well, considering how Spartans are made, it's no wonder you turned out as you did. Your fate was sealed from the start. Fate can be overcome. I used to think so. When the Norns told me of my son's fate, I thought I could change it. You know well how that worked out. The Norns? The fates of these lands? That's right. You defy prophecy at your own peril. Trace would agree with you about prophecy. He rushes blindly to a fate the giants foretold. He disappears for two days, trying to prove he is their champion, fabled to fight at Ragnarok. What? I know all the Ragnarok prophecies. There's no champion of the giants. It is one glow concealed. Because of this champion, the realms are saved at Ragnarok. Only Asgard falls, and Odin with it. So all this time... Odin's obsession with every detail of Ragnarok, he's been missing a crucial piece. Ha! Well done, bro. Atreus will not be a pawn of prophecy. You still stand against fate, even with victory foretold. I will not march my son to war. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. You would speak to me of protecting your child? Is my tragedy not enough of a lesson? Fighting fate is a waste of the precious time we're given to spend with them. We never know when someone will come along and cut it short. Can you swing that torch to the other side and burn the bramble blocking your path? Can you swing that torch to the other side and burn the bramble blocking your path? your blades to swing the torch to the other side.
Let's cross the bridge now. Anyone alive be squeamish about war? After all the gods you've killed. I have seen enough war to know the cost. But I don't. After the fight. See what happens when we don't fight. Now back to the task at hand. That's one of Odin's captains. Be ready. Anskotar Asgardar!
I am reaching my limit for enlightened platitudes from you today. Can you please just shut up and kill things? Tell me to kill again. What? I kill to protect my son, to aid my friends. But I will be no one's monster. Never again. You don't get to make that choice. Not with the debt you owe me. I am not here for debts. I would always have helped you. So much has been taken from me, and I'm just supposed to let it all go? Freya. Enough. Let's go. It's just past those doors up ahead. There. 
I feel the source of the magic keeping me in Midgard. What is this place? My home. I was born here. Hold on. Something's not right. Opinbera. World tree roots bound in Odin's damn knots. That's how he did it. Come on! Nico! Richard! It belongs to Odin? No! It protects Ingrisil's roots wherever they are! Bastard was counting on it! Ugh! <laughs> 
got it. I suppose this is the point where I forgive you, where I kill you. Have you decided? I don't think I can do either. There is still a part of me that is so angry that it'll always be, it'll always be angry. But no. You are not the one who needs to die. I do see that. Everything that's happened between us. No need to explain. Not to me. Not for that. I do not regret saving your life. And never will. But the choice between life and death should have been yours to make. I should not have robbed you of that choice. that I am myself again. I suppose it's time to face my brother. And after that? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had a choice. Let me live with that for a moment. Ugh. <sighs> 